How's it, how's it going, everybody? What's going on? What's it like Good to be Lord. that muscular and big? Oh, it's uh, just like everything else. You just got to eat a little more. Isn't it great, though, when you walk down the street, you don't fear any man, do you? No. No. I, I fear everybody. Look I'm, at those I'm a pencil neck <laughs> Oh, my goodness. And he's not... You know, blown out of proportion. He's, you know, still... No, that's... I've, uh, yeah. There are Compared to me, he is. <laughs> <laughs> you never juiced? Were you able to get that way on your own? Yeah, absolutely. I started working out when I was 12 years old. Because you got beat up a lot, right? Exactly. Is that true? I was, uh, I was really just... Um, Pencil neck geek? Yeah, and, and it was a true comic book story. I was getting beat up every day in junior high. I finally started working out and... Hit the gym. Yeah. Learned some self-defense. Not even. Just uh, that, that. that is a pretty intimidating thing. Play just, football at all? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Was it easy for you to get big like that? Or no, no. Different? As a matter of fact, it was a while. I, I started really seeing results. I started working out seriously at 12 years old. And Why I started... don't I see results? Why don't I get back? I'm in the gym every well, day. Well, I, I tell everybody, just uh, just stick with it. A lot of people will go to the gym really strong for a month or three months or even six months or a year. For, for, for 20 years. When see, I've been, do, I've been doing it for, for just about 20 years myself. And what about, what about what, what do you do? Do you run at all? Or no, I don't do any, any cardio. Is just, that how you get big? Well, for me, it's just it, it it's it what it's what works for me. I mean, everybody's body is different, you know, and and some people weren't meant to carry a lot of body weight and a Maybe lot of muscle mass. And I, I, like, I, I got big hands, big wrists, big feet. So look at that belt. That is you are the world champion. This is the WWE championship. Yeah, you got uh, you're now into the movie star thing. That's why you're here. You're, yeah, we got the movie coming out. The Marine. Yep. If your movie does well. Yeah. I mean, it probably will because uh, it's an action film. And yep. you have a built-in audience. We know that uh, Vince McMahon, who is the founder of the WWE, he's, yep. the, he's the big cheese. He is the guy. He will own your name. Yep. He will. He gets a cut of all of your movies, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Is that the way it works? That's yep. what The Rock told me. Yep. Does that bother you? Absolutely not. Should he? Is he entitled to a cut of your movie action? Absolutely. Howard, before this, I was a, a kid in a small Massachusetts town uh, mowing lawns for a golf course. I don't mind kicking a percentage of my uh, my earnings to the person who gave me a chance and an opportunity. In Vince, in a sense, is your sensei. He's the exactly. one who really exactly. got and you if, going. If, if anything, that's a that's a sign of respect. I owe that guy a lot. And You're grateful. What, what no, name does absolutely. he own of yours, though? It, that's my government name. He owns what's called intellectual property. Right. He owns John Cena. Absolutely. That's not your real name. No, that's my government name. <laughs> and he owns it. Well, it's it's a weird concept, but in a way, yeah. <laughs> Oh my he goodness. owns the name. In so other words, you won't be able to be yourself if you leave Vince. Yeah, which is kind of cool. I can get another identity. So this is a good life. It wrestling. really is. It's a different life because you're not working a typical nine to five. So I don't have a family life. I'm not married. I'm not settled down. I'm home one, two days a month. So, I mean, you're on the road and you're traveling. So with... Where is home? Home for me is I, when, uh, when the weather is good in New England. I spend time in New England. When it's bad, I go to Florida. What makes it about you that you became the guy? You I be- think you took I, over the I, rock. I honestly, that's everybody's been saying that. It's just believability. I am not afraid to, one, make an ass of myself, and two, go out there and be myself. How do you make an ass out of yourself? What well, you it's a lot of guys like, oh, I'd never do that. Or, oh, I'd, you know, they want to be the quintessential tough guy. Everybody wants to be a superhero. I don't right. mind enjoying the entertainment aspect of it. Wow. Let me ask something about the belt. It's all... Prearranged, who's going to win each yeah, we, bout? We, our, our program is World Wrestling Entertainment. We do the we we do what we do for the sake of entertainment. But which, why do you carry around? A, I mean, because you really didn't. Because it has a huge WWE logo on it. So yeah. if anybody sees me walking <laughs> around, they know they know who I work for. Why do you think you became a wrestler? Was your dad a wrestler? No, but he was a huge wrestling fan. And, and do you think he did it to please him? No, I just he really kind of forced us to watch wrestling as kids. I come from a house of five boys, and he was, I mean, he was a true disciplinary dad. Every Anytime we were bad, we got the strap. We got our ass beat for misbehaving. But the one time we could really just beat the hell out of each other with no consequences was when wrestling was on. So I, I grew up with the NWA, the WWF, then the AWA. It was just something that we all had, we had, a, we had like a little ring set up in our basement. See, someone told me your dad was a wrestling announcer. Believe it or not, after I gained a little bit of steam in the WWE, my dad, with my same name, John Cena, then got involved in the business. Is he Johnny Is he, Fabulous? He's, he's Johnny Fabulous. I told him if you use John Cena, Vince would kill him. Right. Yeah. I see, I see. So, so now so you're he the... is still around. It's not a... Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah, he's still around. Yeah, look at you, man. Yeah. You're the hero of the family I'm now. trying, You're going to get the belt and beat him now. I'm trying. What are the other brothers doing? I got uh, two brothers that are a cop, one who's a professional loafer, and one that works in the <laughs> tech loafer. industry. Yeah. <laughs> How do you get that loafing job? What does <laughs> that mean, a professional loafer? He is loafer? the tail end. He's the, the youngest brother, the guy who kind of like, after you have five boys, it's like, oh, we got another one. Do you give him money? Uh, did you, is that what you're saying? If, uh, if he needs to be hooked up, I hook him up. Are you a millionaire now? Uh, I'm, I'm eating right. I'm You're doing, doing all right. right. I'm doing all right. 
Well, uh, John, I wish you luck with this. Uh, Thank movie. you very much. Howard. This is a big deal for you. Not, not only a big deal for me, but a big deal for the WWE brand. This is a WWE film.